Maxi Sky is a ceiling lift for all healthcare environments. It allows for safe vertical lifting up to 600 pound patients. The Maxi Sky has a hand control to help raise and lower your patient. There are two types of Maxi Sky motors dependent on the track layout that is installed. The four function motor that is used on a fixed track system has up, down, left, and right motorized movement. The room covering X, Y, or H installations will have a two function motor with only up and down movement allowing for free rolling of the motor throughout the tracked area. When preparing for a transfer, be sure that you have a sling available before you approach the patient. There are a number of sling sizes identified by the trim color on the sling. Yellow is medium, green is large, blue is extra large. The size of the patient's sling should be determined in advance and noted on the patient's assessment. Inspect the overall condition of the fabric and the plastic clip before use. The caregiver should always tell the patient what they're going to do. Place the sling around the patient so that the base of the patient's spine is covered and the head support area of the sling is behind the head. Pull each leg strap under the thigh so that it emerges on the inside of the thigh. This can be done with a log roll technique or when the bed is in a seated position. Move the lift directly over the patient. Use the left and right buttons on the hand control if it is a powered motor or pull the motor to the transfer point with a room covering layout. If the lift does not work, gently pull on the red cord until you hear a click. The green light should illuminate. As you lower the hanger bar, hold the lift spreader bar with one hand at all times when near a patient. Attach the straps or clips to the hanger bar in the desired position. There are both two-point hanger bars for loop slings and four-point hanger bars for clip slings. Before lifting the patient, first, make sure that all straps are attached to the spreader bar. Second, make sure the patient is comfortable. Third, make sure the sling is not caught on any obstruction, wheelchair, brake, or arm of the chair. If any of the above occurs, lower the patient immediately and correct the problem. Carefully observe the patient to ensure his or her safety as you press the control buttons and raise the patient. Make sure the patient is clear of any obstacles before moving the patient. Guide the legs if necessary. When the patient is located above the desired point of transfer, press on the down button. Use the handles on the back of the sling to position the patient when transferring into a chair. Hold the hand control firmly as the sling lowers and the sling will tilt back to position the patient. Once the patient is properly seated and the straps are loose, remove the sling from the lift. Be sure to hold on to the hanger bar to prevent patient injury. Slide the lift away from the patient. Press the return to charge button to send the lift back to the charging station. The Maxi Sky is also ideal for repositioning patients with a repositioning sling. Prepare the bed with a sling under the patient and when the time comes to move the patient up in the bed, connect the straps to the hanger bar. Elevate the patient and allow momentum to slide the patient up in bed. Lower the patient. The repositioning sling can also be used to turn patients by connecting one side of the sling and raising the patient. Place a pillow under the patient to maintain the turn position. Maxi Sky is ideal for lifting from floor, chair, or bed to improve the quality of care wherever passive lifting is needed.